Hi guys, my name is Anastasia and July is almost over now, so that means two months of the summer are almost past. I feel a little sad about it because summer is my favorite season, I like it so much, but we have the whole August ahead, that means one more month of the summer, yay! So, during the July I tested some new products uh, because in June I've been to Orlando Premiere Show in the United States and I also had some new cool stuff from there and I also attended NSI Academy and we had some new products over there too. So, I think that some of this product might be not very new to you probably because, you know, I'm from Russia and some products here are launched a little bit later than they are in the United States states but I hope you'll enjoy it anyway so let's start it's antibacterial wet wipes by Aura and I don't know if you guys can buy it in Europe or United States but I bought there here in Russia and I bet you can find something identical to them so I usually use wet wipes to clean off the dust to clean the nails before taking photos and also you can actually use them to clean the surface while you work. So you can buy them in any store like Walmart, I guess. So I really recommend you to use this stuff for cleaning and working. It's really convenient. And I like using the spray with a regular wipe. It's just faster. Well, especially most of all, I like them to use for the hands. Product number two is electric drill. As you probably know, I really like to do a manicure, I like to use electric drill for my rebalance, for many things, so I'm always looking for new stuff, so recently I got this one, it's produced in Russia, it's called Calibri, yeah, like a bird, so um, what I like about it that um, the handle and the yeah, drill itself is so light that you, you know the traveling is just perfect so you can even put it on the wall or put it on your belt and actually you know work like standing and also if you want to change the direction of the spinning you simply push this button and it stops and then changes the direction so you don't have to actually put stop wait and then you know do the reverse mode you just Everything is doing it just one button. And the next thing, I'm really sorry it's so messy already, but I, I don't have another one. So this one I use, as you probably already get it, like a color palette for my gels, for my gel polishes. And also what I like about it, that you can actually close it and it's all clean and take it with you. So I'm using this stuff for travels also. And if you were drawing, for example, with the white or with the black and there's still some, some stuff left, you don't have to throw it away like we usually do when we use this paper form. So we can actually close it and use it again. So this is more kind of a storage stuff, not really a product, but I really like it this month. Another storage product is this box I use for keeping my drill bits and once again especially for travels because you know at home of course we usually have a lot more drill bits than two and I have you know a huge box for them but for traveling with the drill bits this one is so convenient because you see there's like a cushion or you can put them inside and just close it. Also, I have the storage for my bling things and, well, and other accessories. So, I was looking for a long time for a good place to keep my rhinestones and I found this, you probably saw them on the web, like wheels for the rhinestones, but, oh my god, I hate them so much because all my bling stuff is already messed up there when if they fall that's just a disaster so I was looking for something alternative and better and here it is just a small separate you know tubes for them and actually a box where you can just close it and keep them so I have no idea what brand it is I don't think there is one it's just the stuff I bought in our market and it's used for, you know, sewing accessories, but who said we can't use it for the rhinestones? So as, as you can see, I keep here the big rhinestones, the smaller rhinestones, and not only rhinestones, the other stuff is good for it as well. And, you know, it's good because it's transparent, you can actually see through it. And, well, it, it's really convenient because you just open one, use it, and close it and put it again. Ceramic drill bit. 
you probably have seen already how I used it. I used this one a lot. I used this drill bit to take off the gel polish, to take off gel, and it's, you can also take off acrylic with it, but it will be, you know, you have to change it from time to time. So this is a ceramic, and it is only for right-handed people, but if you are left-handed, you can still use it, just put the, you know, the hand of the client backwards. So, and I also have a video how to take off the gel polish using the ceramic bit. So, I like this stuff a lot. It doesn't heat, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't damage skin if you use it properly, of course. And I have Mess No More by Mini Many Moo. And honestly, I didn't plan to buy this stuff. I got one as the gift at Mail Tech events in Orlando. And then I got another one because I wanted to have the big clear stamper and they came only in the kit and I couldn't convince them, you know, to just sell me the, the stamper so I had to buy it, so now I have two and actually that's not a bad thing because, you know, I like it for if you don't know what it is it, I'll show you it's, oh wow, so that's a fancy cap with, well, not really rhinestones, but they look like them and actually to me this looks like a lipstick right like a liquid lipstick and it's almost like it from the inside oops what we have here oh. and then you just apply it on your skin that actually matches my design now okay a little bit messy but it's okay because it's you know mess no more stuff and when it's dry you just take it and peel it off and there's gonna be no mess around the cuticle. Also, I have this stuff. This is a deep and dish, but it's not designed especially for monomer. I got it from my fellow student who's already an educator. What I like about it is when you clean it, uh, like, you know, when you dip the brush and clean it on the side, it doesn't, you know, run all over the table because it's pretty heavy and it can actually stays where it stands. So, I recommend you to try this one and also some things for the candles, you know, like candle holder might be good sometimes for the monomer. Also, we have more equipment. I have this 3 watt LED lamp and yes, that's the lamp. So, there is the single bulb. We have to open it, here's the bulb, and it can actually stand. There is just one button that sets it for 60 seconds and the wire which leads to USB. So I like this stuff so much, especially when I do some tutorials, when I work on the tips and when you have to travel and you don't want to carry this, you know, big lamp with you. So. This one is something to for the traveling and you know for some doing some small things and it actually cures on the tips. I didn't try it on my nails yet, but I believe that it will cure, you know, some transparent or light colors. But of course, this is not the thing for the full, you know, curing hand just for work. No, it just, you know, some travel stuff to save you sometimes. I have the brush number five by Jubilee called Ombre. So see, there's the long hair and there's the shorter hair in this brush. So this is what allows us to do this kind of motion, to do the ombre effect really fast. I also use it not only for the ombre, but also for some abstract design. So be sure to see it later on my tutorials. Also, there is a product I just can't stop talking about, is the Smiline brush. It's number seven by Jubilee called Deep Smile. And I think this lady who invented this brush is really a genius because all you have to do is just put it here. There's the first part of your smile line, put it the other side and here's the, the smile line is ready. This is synthetic, so this is used mostly for gels and gel polishes. And it's something that allows you to do the crisp, symmetrical, smile line in just you know really one minute another product is something shining it's the mica which is like rainbow color and actually notice what i store it it's like you know the from the old film and yeah, because they usually come in the bags which is so not convenient because the bags always you know soon i'll 
show you the tutorial of the cool designs I did using this stuff. NSI Polish Pro Shade, which is called also Chick. And this is the really nice nude color. Nude is something we usually look for and something is so hard to find the good one. So I really like their redesigned brush. It's really short and you know really easy to apply and the color. It's like you know this a little slightly tan nude, but actually on the nails it looks so natural, like there's almost no color. So this is very good for the pink and white, for people who just love nude shades and they, they want their nails to look their, like they're natural. And this is how this gel polish looks on the nail. Thank you for watching this video. If you tried some new products in the July and you want to share it with, please write it in the comments. I would love to read them. And if you like the video, please give me a big thumb up and subscribe if you don't want to miss my nail art tutorials and vlogs and other stuff about nails. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.